What up YouTube fam, Devin on deck here once again. And today I got four ways for you to make sure you always look good in photos. Um, Welcome back to Style on Deck where we talk about fashion, grooming, and everything else in between. And this video is probably my first one that's unisex. I think no matter if you're a lady, do love taking pictures, don't like taking pictures so much. No one wants to look bad in a photo. So I'm gonna give you the four ways that I use to make sure that I'm always on point in my photos and you can apply them for yourself. But first, if you haven't subbed to my channel yet, please do. If you're new to this channel, I first got my start on Instagram where I'm the number one source for innovative and creative men's style content. And you'll notice not only am I a pioneer for men's fashion video, but I'm also a champion for casual smart style. So on this channel, I give you the best of both worlds. If you're more of a dapper guy, I give you tips on how to dress down but still maintain your quality standards. And if you're more of a streetwear dude, I teach you how to dress it up a bit without feeling too uncomfortable and not like yourself. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you already sub to my channel, go ahead and hit that bell icon and you get a notification every time I drop a video. Okay, so the first one on this list applies to full body shots. Now I'll see on Instagram every now and again a comment like, hey, I love that pose or you look so comfortable on camera. But I'm keeping it real with you, I'm not a good poser and I'm super awkward on camera. If you noticed, I don't post a lot of group shots or times when I'm at parties or whatever because it's not a good look for me. I'm not good at standing still. So the trick is never pose. Now if you have an iPhone like I do, all you gotta do is hold down the shutter button or the photo taking button and it'll go right into burst mode. From there, just walk around the frame a few times until you find a good shot. That's exactly what I do. It works for me. Or if I use my DSLR, my big camera, I'll put it on continuous and use my remote. It's a little bit faster at shutter speed so I can walk a little quicker, but basically the same result. So there's a hack for you that you can apply right now. As far as post-up photos go, this leads me to number two. Grooming, ladies and gentlemen. Now ladies, y'all have makeup, y'all can do the eyebrows, you can do the mascara, the eyelashes, you can add things to your face. Some guys are into that too. I never wear makeup, I never will wear makeup unless it's like some big Hollywood opportunity comes down the road, but I don't foresee any of that happening anytime soon. So grooming for us is very important, taking care of your actual skin, making sure that you are fully groomed up and one thing that makes a big difference for me is a haircut. Oh my God, it's like the equivalent to ladies getting their eyebrows done. Like when you get your eyebrows freshly waxed, do you get a fresh set of nails, ladies? You know that feeling? That's the same feeling that guys get when we get a fresh cut. Now here's an example of how huge of a difference a haircut can make, okay? Now look at the edges here on my beard, on my hairline, look at the fade. This all just looks a little more pruned, a little more put together. I have more confidence when I'm on camera, a little bit more close up, and I take better pictures. When you feel better, you're gonna take a better photo. Now, I'm not always able to get to my barber like I want to. I used to not always have the budget to get haircuts regularly. Whatever category you fit in, if you are caught slipping but you need to take a photo or two, then your own barbering can happen on an app. So this goes to number three. Make sure you get yourself a photo editing app. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that on my Mac, I like to use Lightroom, okay? That's my number one app for photo editing. All my photos go through it. And more recently, I've learned that you can actually edit your skin, smooth it out a little bit, edge yourself up. You can do a lot of great things to help kind of bring yourself back. And I'm gonna show you actually the drastic difference it makes, okay? So with this photo, I actually did not have a haircut at first, it used to look like this. See what I'm saying? Huge difference, right? If you don't have Lightroom yet, please, please get it. If you wanna use phone apps, there actually are a few different ones you can use. I'm gonna have a little card come out here. Go ahead and tap that. It'll give you like my top phone apps for the perfect Instagram aesthetic, and a few of them on there can help you edit your face, and get rid of blemishes, straighten up your hairline. Again, it's an instant haircut, and it don't cost you no money, just a little bit of time, and you will be very, very happy you did it. So, don't forget you got that from your boy, okay? For this last one, this is all about perfecting your smile game. Now, if y'all been following me on Instagram for a while, you notice that I never ever smiled on any of my photos until I started my YouTube channel. I almost felt like fashion guys weren't supposed to smile. It's a very serious 
industry, but that's not my best side. And since I was already showing my personality on YouTube, kind of the cat was out of the bag. It was no point in trying to hide it anymore. I'm a very upbeat dude. I'm a very jovial person. So <laughs> I just let the smile out. And the key is to activate the chuckle, okay? You want a natural laugh in there to make sure you look like you're naturally smiling. It's your best smile. If you force it, it's gonna look too plastic. Like watch this, look. Right? Too big, I show too many damn teeth, I got big ass teeth. This is not cool. So what I like to do is just get a nice natural laugh in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? You get some of that going and you'll have results kinda like this. Now if you're still not convinced or you feel like you look really stupid doing that, let me go ahead and give you a little encouragement by showing you people that are more important than you that do exactly the same thing. Watch this. <laughs> Now you just saw that, right? Literally Jay-Z was asking the photographer, get us laughing, get us smiling in the photo so it can look natural. Those are the best kind of photos. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. So if they do it, it's okay for us to do it too. Be empowered and take better photos. Now if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give your guy a thumbs up. Any questions, concerns, feedback, anything I missed, you have any tips for me? Let me know if you have any tips for me. I would love more tips because again, I'm not perfect in all photos. I'm just giving you what I got, but I love to hear what y'all have as well. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make that happen. I appreciate your time as always, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.